happy monday y'all and welcome back to the start of a new vlog it is 6 30 to be exact as i am starting this vlog it is close to thar time and i thought i would get started on what i wanted to eat for thar i was like scrolling on my instagram and i saw a video of like these like bite-sized salmon things that kind of mimic sushi like a salmon bowl essentially and it just sounded so good so i did go to the store earlier today and i went and got some salmon i kind of just got enough for myself but like i don't mind sharing and i really don't think anyone else would really want some of this like i feel like everyone else just has like their own cravings and things like that but I picked this up earlier today i was filming some stuff for my instagram which is why i didn't pick up my vlog camera i just cannot like multitask properly i wish i was better at it and i really want to work on that but then i also feel like it'll just get repetitive with the content so I'm really excited and salmon is just so easy to make and it just has like so much flavor on its own that you don't really need to do so much to it. And I also got like some more seaweed because we ran out of that. You know what else sounds so good? I keep seeing this on my social media and I don't know if any of you guys that follow me are Yemeni, but I keep seeing Yemeni honeycomb bread and it looks like delicious. I've never tried it, but I really want to make that and like just try it because it looks so good. Like I should have bought stuff for that too. Honestly, I probably have everything I'd for that I, I don't know but this is the video i saw salmon rice muffins i don't know if i have the little like baking pan thing to make these exactly but it looks like delicious looks so good you guys thankfully we have one of these baking pans oh, i'm so excited i feel like this is just like really easy because i can just pop it in the oven <sighs> i wish i got some more hawaiian rolls because those sliders were so good and i still have all the ingredients for that i could have made that again too a person will never enter paradise Ahadan, not a single one of you Amaluhu, because of their actions because of their deeds you see what allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants from us is not to see that we have this resume you know on jannah on the day of qiyamah when we enter and we're seeing our status with jannah may allah ta'ala give it to us easily many people think that they're going to be able to pull out their resume you know, like load up their LinkedIn. Allah, look at all these references I have. Look at all these, look at everything I did for you, Ya Allah. That's not how this works. Imam al-Ghazali, he quotes a narration from the Bani Israel, where he says that Allah wanted to test one of his servants. And this person worshiped Allah for 40, 50, 60 years. And so Allah sent an angel to that person. Listen to the story, it's incredible. Allah sends an angel to that individual, that worshiper, who has been worshiping Allah for decades and the angel is given one task that task is to tell this person this exact story basically you're not going to enter paradise your deeds will not give you jannah and this person upon hearing this i want you to imagine this i want you to imagine you just finished praying 20 rakats for 30 nights and then you're sitting here in the masjid on the last night and you're feeling hopeful and optimistic and you're feeling grateful that allah has given you the chance to pray to him and all of a sudden, an angel comes into the masjid and says, you're not going to Jannah because of this. What would your response be? You know, some of us maybe would have the thought cross our minds, may Allah forgive us. We'd say, well, what did I do all this for then? Why did I do all this? So this man, he responds with the most beautiful response. The angel says, your worship for those decades is not going to give you paradise. And the man, he says, we worship Allah because that's what we were commanded to do. And I'm going to continue worshiping him because that's what I was made for. And the angel returns back to Allah. Currently, I was packing up two orders I had and I had to show it to you guys before I like send it off and put it away because it's like the cutest little abayas ever. They're little baby abayas. And if y'all remember from my Ramadan prep vlog, I was wearing the pink one that, um, you know, my mom made for us and these were like Busher and Co. abayas and I don't have the website live right now, but I got some like DMs interested and so I just decided to take like a couple orders. So made one of these she asked for like white on white and then she was like can you just make like the inner slip the same material as the abaya and i was like why did i not do that for my own abaya like that just looks so much like better <laughs> um because earlier i was just wearing it with like another like white inner slip and then i just put like white stuff on for zyra like i put a white onesie on and white pants look at that y'all like oh just obsessed with baby clothing and then she also asked for like another white one um and i had this fabric and so i made it this fabric was actually like the lining fabric um but she was like can you just make me like an abaya out of that she wanted like two options and i think it turned out so cute and then we got the belts right here so i need to pack those up and then 
uh, someone else ordered like the same one that me and Zyra were wearing so she wanted like the matching mommy and me abayas so I have the abaya and then the little baby abaya and I'm just gonna send these out today and I really hope they get it in time for Eid because y'all know we're like in the last 10 nights so I think it should get to her by then. I'm just gonna fold this up nicely and package it up and then Fred said he would drop it off for me. I just had to share it with you guys but y'all I think I'm gonna make this abaya for myself like with the matching slip and this white fabric and then make one for Zyra too because I am loving this one. I don't know what it looks like on because we didn't like try it on anyone. I really hope it looks cute on. Thought we could unbox some packages together. I have no clue what this one is. And then this one, my mother-in-law sent something for Zyra. So I'm really excited to open that one. And then this one is from the Sultanas. I meant to open this last week and then I completely forgot about it. So we're gonna open that one. I've never tried a jilbab before, but today is the day that I will be trying one on. I just got this jilbab in from Las Sultanas, so let's try it on. I'm hoping I put this on right. Oh, okay. Does this part, like, I think I just tie it to the back, right? Am I doing this right? Let me take off my denim jacket. Okay, so this is just the top piece. Let me put on the skirt piece to finish this off. This is really long. The skirt is like all the way up to here right now for me, but I'm just gonna roll it down. I love that though because it makes it like, if it's too long for you, you can just fold it in. But for those that are taller, like it'll work for them. Oh, I forgot the main thing of a jilbab is that... <laughs> you guys, I'm wearing this backwards. I just realized because <laughs> of this. Put it on the right way. This is what it looks like. So like comfortable and the quality of this drill lob is amazing like 10 out of 10. y'all saw the unboxing how cute were zyra's clothes that her mother-in-law got for her and i'm obsessed with the little Afghani dress it's so adorable i don't think that will fit her right now it looks like it would swallow her so maybe she'll wear that next either or maybe buckery you know what she grows pretty fast so probably by buckery she can wear that and i just realized like i have not worn an Afghani suit for like any of the Eids ever um, but I think it's because we always end up just celebrating Eid like over here with my parents his family lives like very far away and we just never end up going there for Eid and we really need to make an effort to go there for Eid and we were thinking about going this year but then we have a trip planned a month later so we're like what's the point of going twice so inshallah next Eid we'll spend there but I think we might wear Afghani suits this Eid though I don't know we'll see um, but it's close to a thar time right now, just waiting for Freed in the car. And we're going to go pick up some Mediterranean food that we ordered because nobody has energy to cook anything anymore because it's the end of Ramadan. <laughs> So would you vlog in there? <laughs> <laughs> no, tell us, tell us, tell the vlog. Tell you what? what? What you just told me. I went to go pay in there, and the guy just kept talking to me in Arabic. And pretty much Frida just looking at him like, what What are you saying? And he was like, oh, you don't speak Arabic? And then he's like, oh, where are you from, bro? <laughs> <laughs> I got a little smushed, you guys, but I got two bowls. Jamal Park, y'all. I keep trying to. Breathe soft. Jamal Park, y'all. We are heading. Bri keeps making fun of me. We're heading back home from the Friday prayer. Uh, we did not bring Zara with us this time. She was napping. A little recap of what the Imam was talking about this Friday. He was talking about the importance of like doing dhikr and like 
our prayers and that we should try our best to even read like two verses of the Quran a day we'll be so much further versus like you know focusing on like trying to finish the whole Quran and that's pretty much a summary of what the Qutbah was about Do you have anything to add? And donate to the masjid <laughs> Hell yeah, <laughs> that too <laughs> Every Layla together is when they do like their donation stuff so it was like um, tomorrow like would be a special night, would be donation night. But yeah, that's pretty much what the kutha was about. And it's so true though. Uh, like trying to do like a little bit day by day, even if it's just one verse or two verses, is better than doing nothing. And reading like one verse doesn't even take that long. It takes like five minutes max. Not even five minutes, it takes like two minutes, depending on the verse that you're reading. And you're like really pondering over the meaning too, not just reading it. And you're like, you guys have no excuses now because everything is like online, there's translations and if you can't read Arabic, you know, read the translation and all that stuff. Had a change of outfit. I decided to just wear this abaya because it's a lot warmer. It's so cold today and gloomy outside. For the last week, actually, it's been very like cold and gloomy. We've been wanting to do something and like go out with her, but the weather has just not been good. But it's getting closer to if the hard time. I thought I would just sit in my prayer corner watching Zyra. She just chills here with me and I'm able to like do my stuff. I feel like a lot of times it's like mental where, or at least in my situation where you feel like, oh, I don't have time to read some Quran or do things like that like I gotta watch her but oh she's like no no you cannot she just chills here on her little boppy and give her some toys and she's content <laughs> The crown that I have is one that is like fully Arabic. I really need to get one of those ones that has like the English translation right next to it. I always see people post about those ones and I feel like that would just be like much more beneficial to read the Arabic alongside the English. But this is the one I have. I love how it's um, like color coded. It's close to star time. My dad said he wanted sliders since he really liked them last time. So I'm going to make some of those. My mom's working on the other. Sorry. You know that post a thar feeling when you're just like super done, exhausted, and just like food coma? Yeah, that's me right now. This girl's pretty active right now. I'm so glad, alhamdulillah, she's at that age where she like entertains herself. Yeah. How was your thar, is there? She eats with us at like a thar time. There's like so much going on, y'all. It was like so hard to vlog. <laughs> 